Hey, good morning. I hope and pray you are doing well. And I wanted to do a follow-up video. I know this is a, uh, it's really dark outside still, but I, I still wanted to post this. Maybe the sun will come up as I'm speaking, but right now there's a amazing image of the moon with just the, the smallest sliver of light at the very bottom. You know, I wanted to discuss everything going on in the world today about how our world leadership is plotting and scheming for the future of humanity in the guise of saving the planet, saving the world. You know, when we look at everything going on and we see how these people are, are worshiping the earth, and I... I really encourage you not to worship the earth. Are we to be good stewards? Of course. But this is full-on earth worship. This is worship of the created, not the creator. So please, don't be misled about everything going on. This has nothing to do with trying to save the planet from our actions. This is about complete and utter control of everything that you do, every facet of your life. You know, from the mandates have been coming out over the past year and a half to to this very day right now. It's about more and more encompassing of the beast system to the inhabitants of this earth. You know, when we look around and we see the handwriting on the wall about what will take place when we read scripture about the biblical prophecy being revealed and unfolding before our very eyes, we must stand strong in these final hours. Do not grow weary. This is a message of hope. For those with eyes to see and ears to hear, this is and these are glorious and amazing times in which we live. We live in times that all of human history have been waiting for, have been longing for, have been looking for, for. We, this final generation, will see our blessed hope for those who are sealed in Jesus Christ, those who are longing and waiting for him. So please, do not give in to first and foremost what they're trying to give you. Do not roll up your sleeve. Do not bow down to man or bow down to the laws and mandates which are coming, because there will be more, I'm sure, from what is coming from this, this big summit. I looked at a list of the leaders. It's, it's, it's big. There are a lot of people representing nations from all over the world. Is this when the, the covenant will be agreed upon? Is this when everything's going to take place? Because when we Look at the biblical timeline. We are right there. We are at that moment. We are at that window of time in which the Lord had been pointing to, had been instructing us to keep an eye on, to keep watchful over. We are at that time right now. I don't believe it's a coincidence that these individuals are, are meeting, that they're plotting and scheming for your very future. You know, when we look around, they, they keep on uh, touting all these different things. And yet, out here in the West, any open area, there's a sea of solar panels. There are mountains full of wind turbines. And yet, they keep on saying there's, a, there's an energy crisis. The only crisis that there is is being manufactured by the very people telling you that there's a crisis. The very people lying to you about every single aspect of your life and about what you must do and about putting your faith in them. About encouraging you not to put your faith in Jesus Christ. That they have all the answers. That they got a, a magic potion that will save humanity. That that they can get everything in order, that we can live a future of peace and prosperity and safety. 
you know, Scripture does tell us when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. We must understand that we are living in the final hours. And I want to encourage you, I want to encourage the listener to be bold in these last days. You do not have to be a coward as a Christ follower. That is a lie from the, from the pit. Our Savior was never a coward. The disciples that followed him are not cowards. They met a demise because of their faith. Will you be willing to be persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ? There are many that will hear this message who will ignore it. There are many that will hear this message and go into the tribulation because their hearts have been seared by doctrines of demons that have led them astray because they did not want to believe in the truth. There will be many that will hear this message who are waiting and longing for their blessed hope that have been eagerly searching continuously for their for their bridegroom. In these final moments, we must not only share the gospel of grace, but also about the soon return, about what and about what will happen, about the the judgments that will fall upon the earth. I, I'm still shocked about how many, how many just do not see what is going on around the world. I am I am shocked, but yet again, this is fulfilling of scripture. Scripture tells us that many will be led astray. Many will be deceived. That the great fall away must happen first, which is going on right now at this very moment. We see everything unfolding before our very eyes. And again, like I mentioned before, will you stand strong? Will you have hope? Will you run this race to the very end? Because again, this is about faith. When Jesus returns, will he find faith on the earth? Will he find those who call themselves within the body of Christ doing his bidding, sharing his love, telling others about his beautiful kingdom that awaits them if they so choose to partake in that? Or also, are you sharing about what will happen if you do not choose Jesus Christ, because that is part of the gospel that we always tend to forget to mention. About the other side, about the, the beautiful, amazing gifts, the, the place that we can't describe how wonderful it is, but also about the flip side, if you don't choose him, if you don't choose Jesus, what will happen? We must be diligent, we must Stand strong, operate in wisdom in these final hours. We're almost home, Rapture Saints. We are almost home. Please, today, if you do not know Jesus Christ, I want to tell you that He loves you and He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to run into His arms. And it is very simple, it is very easy because. The modern church has complicated it, but it is very simple and easy. First, you must have faith that he does, and he is exactly who he says he is. You must have faith and trust and believe completely in him, and trust and believe completely in his death, in his burial, and his resurrection on the, uh, his death on the cross, and his resurrection three days later. You must have full assurance. You must have full assurance that when that trumpet sounds, that you will enter in. We must repent. We must give our sins. We must give our past life to him so he can cleanse us from that unrighteousness and make a new way. Do you be born again? Do you be born with the Holy Spirit fire? That you be born into his kingdom? To leave behind this world, but to embrace him wholeheartedly. To have faith in him and not in man but to fully trust and believe in Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, as Lord and Savior. You must proclaim that. 
We must cry out to him right now. Please, we have just mere moments of time left before the judgment will be poured upon the earth right after the rapture of the church, the rapture, the removal of the bride, the catching away, the harpazo that will take place. This is scriptural. Do not be misled by doctrines of demons. This is scriptural. The rapture is a true and real event. It will be the greatest event since the cross of Jesus Christ, and you want to partake in it. You do not want to be left behind here for the tribulation and what is to come. But for those sealed in Jesus Christ, we have a blessed hope. We are waiting for our Savior, our bridegroom, for we are his bride. He is gone to prepare a place for us. He is waiting for his appointed time to come and to rescue those who honestly love him right before judgment falls upon the earth. Hope this message finds you well. I just wanted to say these things in, in the name of the precious blood of Jesus Christ and to please share this message with others. Tell others about his kingdom. Tell others about the soon judgment that will come upon the earth. Look at everything going on around us, people. Look at everything. Prophecy is unfolding before our very eyes. Jesus Christ is on the horizon. Will you open the door to him? Have a blessed day, guys. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.